Hi, I'm Brian Martinez, and I'm going to be a future educator, and I'm very excited to be that. Uh, one of the things I'm looking forward to teaching is probably fourth or fifth grade. I am an introvert, and noticing that I'm slightly different than other people in a, my learning approach, it helps me understand the different learning speeds and different intelligences that my students may have. One of the reasons why I want to be an educator is sort of a moral calling that I have. Uh, I can't stand to see children who have been neglected or not really put enough time into. I, I see very intelligent children who are very smart, very capable, but they just don't have the adult in their life. Seeing children who are not really pushed to be all that they can be sort of hurts me. It makes me feel sad. And so when I, whenever I can, I love and really appreciate the time that I get to spend helping children, helping nourish their potential helping them understand what they can achieve. The two biggest influences in my life, as far as uh, being an educator is concerned, would be one, of course, my father. My father took a lot of time and he spent hours, hours of his time sitting by my side, helping me, help, testing me, quizzing me, giving me extra homework. I was not happy at the time because I had to finish my homework and then I had to finish my father's homework. But I, now that I'm older, I really appreciate what he did for me. That extra attention really helps me appreciate other children's learning speeds and their learning needs. Another influence would probably be my fourth grade teacher, Mr. Carrasco. Now, Mr. Carrasco and me didn't really have any kind of a special relationship. Um, I wasn't his favorite student and I didn't really talk to him that much, but I still remember his name and I still remember his face and I still remember the way that I felt in his classroom. I felt like I was in a safe, fair place. Now, just like Mr. Carrasco influenced me, I also want to influence others. Uh, I know that I'm not a perfect person. I'm a human being. We all have mistakes, we all have regrets, but when I step into that classroom, I want to be more than just Brian Martinez. I want to be the educator, I want to be the teacher. When I step into that classroom, I'm going to put on a performance. And to quote the great Batman, Bruce Wayne, he said, if you make yourself into more than just a man, if you devote yourself to an ideal, you become something else entirely, a symbol. As a symbol, I can be incorruptible. Another great quote would be from J.K. Chesterton. And he says that, quote, fairy tales are more than true, not because they tell us that dragons exist, but because they tell us that dragons can be beaten. Now, both of these quotes they talk about using something, maybe a sense of dramatization, using that as a tool to help people around you. So if I turn myself into a symbol, if I turn myself into more than Brian Martinez, when I step into that classroom, I become a teacher. I want to be an ethical pillar in my community. And I wholeheartedly believe that perception, especially to children, is a large part of what constitutes a child's reality. So I want to be a beacon of hope, a beacon of strength, of compassion, so going through this class, I've learned that I'm going to be probably a lot more of an active teacher. I'm probably going to be the type of teacher who adds stories, video lessons, and you know what? Theater demonstrations to my class. I did not know this, but I found that theater, children's theater really resonates within me. I was very surprised with how many tools children's theater gives me to utilize in teaching my students. 